Hello there. I hope you're doing well. My name is Winnie and I'm here to talk about some of the mods that I use for really detailed storyline gameplay. This family is my Nightmare Legacy Challenge, the Kushimars. I decided to use them though because Naomi and Grim Reaper are actually getting married. And yes, Grim Reaper. He became mortal so that he can spend his life with Naomi. One of the main mods I'll be showing is how I use Andrew's teleporter mod and also pose player. For me, they kind of work together. And then also I'll be explaining how I use MC Command Center alongside of these other two mods. But I had somebody in one of my previous videos ask how I got pictures of my Sims in their household. And personally, this is one of my favorite ways of adding that little bit of detail and storyline into my gameplay. This is actually perfect because this is how one way I use MC Command Center for the poses is I go through MC Command Center. Well, I click on the sim that I want to change their clothes. I go down to MC Dresser and then I can change their outfit. And since it's a wedding, I'm going to put Michaela in her formal outfit and it automatically just changes that. And it works really well for sims that aren't in your household and you want them to wear a specific outfit considering this is a wedding ceremony and nobody is in their correct attire then i'll go around and change all their outfits it does kind of suck though because it is an extremely hot day grim is happy about it but naomi is not so i really hope that they don't have a really bad time during the ceremony because it is going to be held outside there are definitely a bunch of other mods that i do use but i'll make another video oh wow i'll make another video about that another time as for right now i'm going to focus on how to get the perfect pictures for your sims family wall to carry on through the legacy like i said the main mods i'll be using are mc command center post player and andrew's teleport mod Another mod that I'll be using, which isn't necessary but I highly recommend, is Ravishing's full control camera. With this camera you can take outstanding pictures no matter how many times you take a picture. It's always gonna turn out like perfect. So you don't have to deal with the hassle of the little gnome or being blurry or having to add a sim who has the maxed out photography skill. You can just do one and done. So like, for example, this one, it's outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. It just makes it that much easier. And the other thing I like to pair the camera with is this little camera stand. I believe it's from Moshino things or whatever. So I just plop the camera right on top and put it exactly where like I want it to be. So I want to take pictures of... Naomi and Grimm when they get married. So I'll put it directly, directly in front of the arch since that's where I want my pictures to be. Okay, so that last arch was custom content, so it wasn't working, but I'll have everyone take their seats so that they can all be ready to get pictures taken. Hopefully everybody's coming. Whose baby is this? Oh, I'm Never mind. Since it's hot out, everybody's gonna be in their hot weather wear. Even though they're all sitting down and whatnot, I can go ahead and change their outfits. And hopefully nobody dies since it's a really hot day. We will we'll try and get through the ceremony as fast as we can, I guess, though. Plus, I'll be taking a lot of pictures, so it shouldn't really affect them all too much. I do want to take a picture of Apollo, which is Naomi's son. All you would do is click on the camera. Let's see if it'll do it though. I don't think it will. Hold on. I might have to push play because there we go. So even though it's the back of Apollo, with this camera you can turn it all the way around. I still don't think I'm close enough, which kind of sucks. And of course we all know that wedding story is still buggy, so oh well. I guess I'm going to take a picture of Apollo going down the aisle, which is totally fine. Okay, so, oh my gosh, really, Naomi? Okay, I'm just going to have them exchange vows. Data is actually supposed to be the efficient, but it looks like he's not coming. So, just have him sit down, and since 
they're exchanging their vows. I can take a picture, which kind of sucks because you can't really plan it. So if they were doing something cuter, I would take a picture. But since they are not, I believe I can pause it and then take it though. So wait till they pose a little bit cuter. Okay, so I guess there's only some points where you can take the picture, but let's see. Okay, perfect. We get a picture of Naomi giving Grim his ring, which is actually a pretty cute picture. So when you take a picture with them or with this camera, you get 25 pictures. Literally all you need to do is take one. I don't take more than one unless, say, I want different sizes or different angles and then I choose between them. But I think, actually, no, I want a different picture. So I'll do this one. And then you can kind of just like pick and choose between them. I could even take a picture of Servo. Well, Data. That's how that can work. It would have been great if I could have got the picture of the kiss. But, so now I have autonomy, autonomy turned off. So I'll show how I use Andrew's teleporter mod. All I do is type teleporter into the little search bar and then it takes me directly to it. You could go searching for it, but I have no idea where to find it. So I just type it in. But so this is what the teleporter looks like. It just um, was at the suit and armor and you put it literally anywhere you want to take the picture of your sims. So I just want to take pictures of Naomi and Grimm since I didn't get any good in action shots. I have downloaded wedding poses. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll also show you a little bit later how and where I get my poses and how to install them and whatnot. But for now, I will just do these and show you how I do the pictures. But so since I want to do a picture of Naomi and Grimm, you put two inside of each other. So once we go to place them for the poses, it'll be kind of weird. I think it's kind of funny and sometimes I will take a picture of it. But so what you want to do is click on the little teleporter, teleport a sim here. And then it gives you a bunch of choices. You can even do pets if you have pet poses, which is pretty cool. Same thing with toddlers and whatnot. But I want to do Naomi. And then I'll do the same thing with Grim. See, like, their faces are conjoined. <laughs> and then this is kind of where it gets a little bit more detailed. If you are taking pictures of multiple sims, like more than two, this can get pretty complicated since they are inside of each other but i can totally show you a, an easier way to pretty much get all the sims without it being such a hassle but for now comes the posing part so if you hover over i'm going to do naomi first you go through the little what is this the menu or whatever and then you'll do pose by pack you could do pose by name i never do it this way just because i don't remember any of the poses names and if you forget what sim you have chosen it always shows their picture up in the corner like i said though i have a wedding pose that i do like using but let's see i did download this one recently i don't know if i'll use this one though Maybe I might, but I can also show how you use props. Some poses come with props. Okay, so I found a pose that I want to use. A lot of the time, some poses do make it a little bit more complicated. As for this one, it's a little bit more simple. So as you see, there's a male and female. It'll tell you if you need a prop or if you don't. But so, for example, these two go together and they made it known that these two go together because this one is 1F and then 1M. And despite the fact that it says F for female, you can literally use any sim. So it could be two males or, you know, in Naomi's case, they do not identify as either. It does explain kind of where that sim will be. So in this picture, the female sim is on this side and then the male sim is on this side, but I will be using pose number seven. And so I want Naomi to be the female sim in this picture. And all you do is click on it. 
Then you have to exit out, go to Grim, pose by pack, remember what pack you use. Sometimes I forget which pack, especially if I queue up a bunch of poses, which I can go over that too, because you can definitely queue up a bunch. But as for now, I'll just do one and then 7M for Grim. Then all you do is push play and they will go into that pose. And sometimes too, obviously sims don't really have heights but some poses they will show height difference which is kind of cool i like how data is like <laughs> looking at the camera it looks like but it's also neat too because even though they're just standing there in an actual pose that you put them in the sims looking or <laughs> it looks like they're reacting to the wedding ceremony but so i want to take a picture of them in this pose click on the camera, take photo, and then you can take a photo of them. I might move the camera a little closer. So it does come with messing with how exactly you want the pictures to look. So I don't mind this. Sometimes the angle is like weird, but you can also re rotate it like I showed earlier when I was trying to get a picture of Apollo. But if I want more of an angle of Naomi I can do that or say later I want more of an angle from Grimm I could do that and it just depends on your preference and what you what you think looks good so technically they're still basically in the same position with that I put them in initially with the teleport mod so even though they are separated I can go back and choose another pose. So I chose two other poses and if I push play of course they're going to stay in the current pose but all I have to do is cancel that one out and cancel that one out and then they're in a brand new pose. Hopefully Papa is not in the way. Okay they're not but this is a pretty cute pose and like I said since I didn't get any in action pictures of their ceremony i can take these poses which kind of looks like it's a part of the ceremony the only thing about the camera is it doesn't save the pictures like as if you were gonna have your sim take it so i do like to save pictures so i'll kind of have to take it with this camera for in the game and then a screenshot for outside of the game so like prior since i queued up other poses i can just oh i can just go through and cancel them out so that they go into other poses so it definitely is kind of a lot of work to get the pictures that you would like like obviously i'm i want to get a picture of them cutting the cake which I have done before for Naomi's first marriage, but it's all about putting the camera in the object that you want to take a picture of in a good position. So let's see if we can, I guess we can't gather for cake, can we not? Oh, gather for cake and they will, oh yeah, see, like everybody's kind of changing back into their like hot weather outfits so let's see we can do feed cake but before i push play i'm definitely going to change naomi's outfit back to their formal wear and same thing for grim since that's what they should be in since it's their wedding and now they're going some other possession so yeah, like I said, it's all about planning and getting the right moment. And since I have move objects on, I can put the camera in there. But let's see. Take photo. Hopefully, please. Dang it, I missed it. Of course. Oh well, that's still kind of a cute picture. Yeah, it definitely takes a lot of like planning for the camera and just being able to be there the right moment 
So I believe the only reason why it didn't happen, even though I was trying to have Servo do it, is because he was gathering for cake. Otherwise, it probably would have been instantaneous. And how did it all of a sudden start snowing? What the hell? What weird weather? However, now I can kind of show you when it's a more than one sim. And I can show you two different ways on how I use, how I kind of set up multiple sims for one pose even if i'm using two different poses so i kind of want to do grim naomi and apollo so all three of them are combined <laughs> it just looks so weird but since they are this way you can't really tell like who's who other than naomi but if you hover over i can kind of tell like who's who but again, if you weren't sure, it shows you in this corner. So finding and choosing the right poses that fit the vibe, I guess. Mostly I try to look for poses that fit the Sims personalities. And since it's their wedding, you know, Grim, Apollo, and Naomi are really close. I feel like they would be extremely excited, especially Apollo for um, his mom. And Apollo does call Naomi mom, which they are fine with that but i think a pose like this really expresses all three of their relationship especially for their wedding day so another way i like to make little i guess scenes for poses is say i want all three of them or even all four of them because kaysen is a part of the household or five technically because the sir i keep calling him servo data but i can pose Naomi and Grimm one way so I'll put them there and then I can put mm, maybe this is the hard part because you don't really know how the poses are going to like turn or like face or whatever but so let's see we can put maybe Kaysen and Apollo there and then Servo back here so hopefully that kind of lines them up with any of the poses so this way is definitely one of the most complicated and you definitely have to mess around with it but once you do get it it is really worth it so like with this pose pack it kind of shows you exactly what sim you're going to be well what pose you're going to be posing that sim so i think i'm going to use this one for grim Again, remember exactly where that pose pack was. This one for Naomi. And then I can go over here, do a different pose for Kaysen and Apollo. And see, like in this one, it doesn't show you. It just tells you. It describes it. So this is going to be the left sim. And then this one's the right sim. So I kind of feel like that would be Apollo for sure. And then for Kaysen, we got to find that pose pack again remember which pose it was and then for servo we can choose a pose servo data choose a pose for data which i'm not exactly sure how this one will work because this is the first time i've played with a servo bot and they don't have expressions so we shall see how this goes and then once you have the poses picked out hopefully they look unison but let's see. Yeah, it kind of does, even though Servo's hands are... Eh. So I did pick three. So I'll exit that one out. That one's eh. And it is kind of weird since they're all like spaced out. But I think it'll make for a good picture. Plus then I can just... um No. There we go. Take a picture of Grim and Naomi. Because that's an extremely cute picture. I kind of want a bigger one. And see, I forgot. Since Kaysen is no longer in his formal wear, I can go through MC Command Center, change outfit, and then change it. So that's what I mean about, like, changing the outfits through MC Command Center and how well it goes with this mod. And then again, kind of just, like, finagling it so that you kind of like how the picture will look which i think this one is actually not too bad and then if i want i can 
just take a picture of these two. Kaysen is actually not a part of their family. Well, I mean, he is. Naomi adopted him and his sister, Michaela, who Apollo went to school with. He was a baby when Naomi, Naomi took them in, and Apollo and him became really good friends. So that's their relationship, and I feel like this pose definitely embodies their characters really well. But yeah, and depending on who you clicked on with the camera, that's whose inventory they'll be in. So I'm just going to give them all to Naomi. And now the part to place them around the house, which pretty much all my pictures are in the living room. But for example, this picture, this is Naomi, their first husband, Wolfgang, Apollo when he was a baby, and Naomi's dad. He's doing a completely different pose from this pose and it definitely really helps with showing the storyline the lifetime of these sims oh and see you can get action shots i was able to get an action shot of naomi and wolfgang's cake cutting unfortunately was not able to do that with naomi and grim but that's okay adding these pictures definitely really adds so much to the gameplay I mean, obviously this is my own personal gameplay, but I really love how I can remember through all this time, so even though Wolfgang has since passed away, I still have pictures of when they first got married. And funny stories, neither Naomi or Wolfgang wanted a child. They actually found out on their wedding day that they were pregnant with Apollo. When Naomi graduated college, Wolfgang was a lot older than them, so that's why he is an elder and Apollo was a child. And I definitely have a lot of pictures of like the wedding times, but this is one of my favorite pictures because they were having their first dance and this kind of just makes it look like, you know, Naomi is showing their dad so much love and excitement that they're married and Naomi was really, really close with their dad. So this just really encapsulates that, if that makes sense. And then again, in an action shot we got in an action shot i got naomi and wolfgang's first dance and it's cool because when you have the sims gather you can see all of them gathered behind watching their first dance and here's another one of where everyone is in a different pose and it definitely looks a lot more unison in this one but this is absolutely one of my favorite ways of adding that little bit of detail into my gameplay whether it's for any let's plays or just my personal gameplay i love the fact that even though we'll be five generations down i'll still be able to have all these memories of this current generation right here that pretty much sums up this whole video though i have a lot of other mods that i use and i plan on doing a separate video for that because there is a lot and i definitely want to go through at least the bare minimum of them like the premise and why i use them and some of my favorites this video or, well, these mods definitely needed a video of their own just because of how much detail and everything that goes into all of them. I'll definitely leave all of the mods I mentioned in the description box down below. And before I forget, so the main place that I get my poses is from Pinterest. And all I do is type in Sims 4 poses and then I save them. Quite a few of my poses are definitely from maybe two or three. Because I have so many, I definitely have my very own Older, dedicated to all of them and I make sure to organize them especially if they have a lot so cat first I'm pretty sure yeah I have a lot from them and Berlin is actually one of my definite favorites I have so many of them but so say if I wanted this one you could click on the website which this one is a patreon oh my god how pretty <laughs> if sims are so pretty but it looks like majority of theirs are behind a paywall, which is totally fine, but look how cute this one is. So if you like this one, you could totally just download the package and then just like custom content, you put that into your mods folder. So I will just put that there and now it's in there. Don't mind my all my tabs. <laughs> These are all the mods that I use that I'm going to be showcasing in my mods video. So look out for that one. The other thing before I forget is poses with accessories. So in order to do that, 
it is a little bit more work, but again, so worth it. You go through MC Command Center. Well, this is what I do. I go through MC Command Center, modify household, and create a sim. It really sucks how laggy my game is since updating it, but anyways, usually the packs that you download or the poses that you download will tell you and majority of the time link whatever accessories that they use or recommend a lot of the time they're usually rings but they'll tell you so right here i have a champagne glass there's beer let's see um a cigarette wine and then it'll even tell you left or right so it looks like naomi is double fisting <laughs> apparently I don't have any bouquets, so I know this one is a part of a pose, so I shall use this one, and then I'll just have to find the pose. Okay, it totally took me a minute to find the pose that went with this bouquet, but if I pose Naomi with it, and that's what it looks like with a, a, a prop which is pretty cute they're so pretty i love naomi oh my god i think this baby aged up i don't even think their mother is here well i really hope that this answers any questions about how i input the family pictures that i have into my sims homes again i'll leave all the links to all the mods that i explained in this video down below if you have any questions i would be happy to at least try to answer them to the best of my knowledge also if you are interested in the kujumar's family story thus far check out my tumblr because i have been posting their story on there because it has been very interesting even though they are on short lifespan anyways i really hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and i will talk to you in the next one bye